Hello viewers, today we are going to discuss about data guard broker. In our previous video we have de demonstrated how to create a data guard configuration and create a standby database. In our discussion we will configure data guard broker and we will uh, demonstrate how to switch over to the standby database and we will uh, ship the database role from primary to standby and standby to primary database. We can access the database the data guard broker with enterprise manager and also by DGMGRL command line interface. In our in demonstration, we will will demonstrate some of the operations through DGMGRL command line interface. So this is the uh, system parameter. What uh, you can do, uh, uh, you can set DG broker start equal to true, and you can invoke the DGMGRL command from any of the databases, any of the server. And then you can create configuration and we will do these configurations, create configuration, DG, etc. And we will add primary database and we will add second standby database and then we will fail over, we will switch over to the from primary to standby database. To begin with it, what we will have to do, firstly we will configure our network, we will invoke NetMGR. Okay, we have already configured our network for data guard broker. In the, you will have to do nothing. We have already configured our listener. In the database service, we have, we already have two databases and we have added another database uh, that is uh, global database service o o r c l underscore d g m g r l and s i d is o r c l. This is, this is the change we will have to do. And the change we have done in the, this is in the primary database. And we have done the same in similar in similar thing in the uh, standby database as well. In the standby database, our standby database is SBYORCL. In the listener, in the database part, we have added another database that is SBYORCL underscore DGMGRL, and the SID is as it is SBYORCL. Uh, this one is for WarCL, this one is for uh, standby database, and this one is for DGMGRL. This is the configuration we have uh, done so far, and uh, and you will have to do only to add DGMGRL part. This is the part you will have to add, and you will have to add a database with this. Okay. Now let's begin with our operation. See, we will make the configuration like this. All the systems set DG broker start equal to true. Okay, this is done. Standby database, we will do the same as well. Yes, we have done this. Now, we will have to access the DGMGRL command line, exit. Now we will log into, we will invoke the DGMGRL command line interface. DGMGRL says, says at ORCL. Okay, we have entered the configuration. Now what we have to do, we are going to create a configuration file. See, this is the connect configuration dgconfig1 as primary database is ORCL, connect identifier is ORCL. Okay, now copy and we will sorry, in the primary database, we're going to do this. Create configuration DG config one as primary database is ORCL connect identifier is ORCL. Okay, configuration uh, is created. Now we will add standby database in our configuration. Add database SBY ORCL as connect identifier is SBY ORCL.
yes now our configuration is added there is no problem now configuration is ready now we will see show co configuration yes you see show configuration shows show configuration shows configuration config 1 protection mode max performance virtual primary database standby database is physical standby database okay first failover is disabled now our now let's enable enable configuration enable configuration configuration is enabled show config configuration status updated three seconds ago primary database this one is standby database this one fill or not now we'll verify show configuration yes now configuration is ready you see uh or is the or cell is physically standby and or cell is the primary database now this these are these are same for this is for standby database and this is for primary database the configuration is same okay now our DGM GRL configuration is complete. Now that our we will test it in our real time database. You see, this is primary database. Let's see how what is here. These are the two records here, and also Save here now we will what we will do is uh, let's delete the record from primary table primary database table okay now we will delete this record now commit now this is in the primary database now let's see what is the status of the table in the standby database you see yes the changed effect is also showing in the standby database so it means primary database primary and standby is working very nicely now we will switch over to standby now our standby will become the primary database and the primary database will become the standby database what will it do? Just switch over. SWI switch over. Switch over to SBY ORCL. This is what you will have to do. Now let's move it. Okay, now switch over succeeded. New primary is SBY or cell. Let's see what it says in show configuration. Show configuration. You see SBY now SBY is the SBY or cell is the primary database and or cell is the standby database. Okay, now TNS close. TNS will be up right now no problem we will do that now let's see what is the status of the now it is in the uh, now let's exit TL status listener status listener is up now SQL 
plus s this dba database what is the status of the database let's see now current status of the database of the ORCL database which was primary earlier now which is become the standby database okay let's see what is the status of each database now yeah what about the ORCL database You see, ORCL DB, it is now physically standby and in the read-only mode with apply status. Okay. And now let's see the standby database now. Now let's, let's see the show configuration. Show configuration. What are it? Yeah, now here the TNS is down, maybe. Stop. Let's start again. TLC. Start. Okay, let's now start it. Now, skill plus S. Now let's run the query. Here in the standby database, what is the status of this? Yes, database name is ORCL, DB unique name is DY ORCL, database role is primary and open in read write mode. Now we will D G M G R L C C at S B Y O R C L Show configuration Show configuration Yes S B Y is the primary database and or still is the standby database. We'll now again move to Okay, let's prove it here. This is our primary database. Now let's see what is the status of the primary database now. Only one database, only one item. And here also only. Okay, no problem. Only one item. Now what we will do is we will insert one record in the table in the SBY or SEL database. Inserted. Now let's commit. Committed. Now what is the status of the table in the primary in the ORCL table? Here, here it is, this one, and, and, yes. So, our switchover is successful. Switchover has worked fine, uh, successfully. Now, we will again shift the primary role to the SB, uh, to the ORCL database and standby to the OSBY ORCL. So, again, switchover, switchover to ORCL. Okay, our switching over is again complete. Now our original position, which was which is the ORCL, is again moved to primary and standby is the SBY ORCL. Now let's see show. You see, again ORCL is the primary database and SBY ORCL is the standby database. Now our now what we will do is we will again now this one should be the primary primary database and we will insert another record here we will insert in the primary primary database 
okay one recording started again now we will see what happens here now let's see what happens here uh, three records now I think the um, here you see now let's move to ls and sctl stop and again start start and in the primary database same exit stop start now let's check status of our standby yes you see here the same record and here the same record is found also in standby database so this proves that this is very easy to configure oracle data guard um, uh, data guard broker configuration and it is very very easy uh, to switch over from primary to standby and again switch back to standby to primary with uh, data guard broker this was a very simple example of how to how you can uh, uh, configure a data guard and you can uh, create a physical standby database and you can configure a data guard broker and you can switch over from primary to standby and database and again standby to primary as well so thank you for watching thank you everybody